The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman Head Women's Soccer Coach Simon Duffy. Uh, Duff, time to unveil your 2018 campaign, and uh, you're either a mad genius or you're just daft. What a schedule uh, you've put together for the 2018 uh, women's soccer campaign. Uh, Columbus State, yeah. West Florida, yeah. Lee, yeah. Limestone, uh, Belmont, Belmont Abbey, and, and uh, what a murderer's row non-conference. Uh, obviously, the mindset was to play as difficult a schedule as uh, you could imagine in this, this region. Why have that mindset coming off of appearance in the national finals? You know, if, if, we're, if we're standing still, I think we're, we're going backwards. You know, we need to be pushing forward, pushing the envelope a bit. And I think open up with two wonderful teams like that on the road. Um, firstly, we were invited, so um, it doesn't often happen that you get invited to these tournaments. So, you know, open up with West Florida, um, who'll have a bit of animosity towards us. And then playing uh, Columbus State on Sunday, which I don't have to mention what they're going to think about us. Um, but it's... It's one of these things. It could be, um, you know, on the road is tough itself, but playing two teams in top five or ten in the country, um, starting off, it's going to be it's going to be tough for us. But I want us to be challenged, you know, and uh, how it ended for us last year, not what we wanted, but um, you know. I've, I've thought a lot about it since December 2nd and I don't think one moment defines a game and I don't think one game defines a season and, and that's definitely something I, I can continue to think about but taking away from that game. Um, but going forward, I mean, it's, it's going to be very, very tough. I want to say we've probably got one of the strongest out-of-conference schedules in the country. I mean, four of the six are top 25. Belmont Abbey's knocking on the door as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, I want to I want this team to be tested. That to hopefully, if we are to go um, further on in the season, that what we see will not be you know an uncommon thing or or, or will take us by surprise. That's that's the whole point of it. Realistically, you open up. Uh, you mentioned touched on it. West Florida, Columbus State. Realistically. Uh, that could be a repeat of the, the Super Regional could be. Uh, very easily. Um, what does this team's attitude and mindset need to be to gear up for such high-level games right off the jump over these next two, three months? You know, and that's, that's one of the things we kind of reiterate with the players leaving, a lot of them playing over the summer, <clears throat> a lot of them going back to their respective countries. And we just said, look, we need to make sure that we're coming in here fit this is who we open up with. You know, we've got three preseason games to kind of oil the gears a bit and, and get us playing in the way we want to play or, or begin to play in the way we want to play. But um, we, we have to make sure that that fundamental, the, the physical base is there, that component is there. The, the, the tactical and technical um, is what something that we can do, you know, within those few weeks to get us ready and then obviously we, we we look at the um, the psychosocial part of it, or getting these players in a right mindset, and that's that's going to be something that may take a little time. And and playing those kind of games are what get us in the right emotional state. Um, obviously, getting rid of the demons from our last game that we played. Um, but again, it's 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 all part of what what we're trying to do with this program going forward. You know, um, what a wonderful thing it will be for our well not not just new players but our freshmen to open up against mm. two powerhouses like that I mean they're going to see right off the bat what we're what we're looking at here but you know the likes of, of, of Holly Talbot Smith Alex Brandon and Avery Williams they're going for their fourth regular season conference mm. and conference tournament in a row I don't know if that's been done or if it has wow but it's something that we're going to really push forward with them. They're well aware of it. Um, the spring was, was good. Numbers-wise, players, as far as you know, fitness and everything else and health, wasn't the best. But it's, it's very important that um, we, we get ourselves ready for what's going to be a tough season. And again, I'm, I'm not even overlooking the types of teams that may not even... You know, we're going to have a target on us. Mm -hmm. and, and, and teams... You know, with all with all respect to the teams in our conference, the teams that were maybe in the lower lower half or lower end of our conference, 
I mean, to get a result against us would, would make their season. So we have to understand that we need to come up and come out against every single team, show up, good attitude and training, and in every single game we respect every opponent we respect, and we can respect them and still go out and, and do what we do. That's the, that's the plan. Kind of a bizarre schedule. You're road heavy for the month of September, yeah. and then you l pretty much live at McCowan Field for, for, for October. October. Um, yeah. How do you handle that? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, again, that's not dictated by me. It's dictated mm. by the conference with our schedule. Um, you know, an important part of that, which we haven't really touched on, I think we have a Saturday off in September and we have a Wednesday off in October. So. That just week between games in each of the segments in September and a week between the games or games in, in October is massive. Um, we had that last year right at the right time, and I think it's going to come at a good time for us. Um, so instead of trying to squeeze in another game, I think it's important for the, for the rest, for the player, especially, again, not to be, to be cocky, but I'd like for us to, to go long into the season, yeah. and it's a long season, you know. It takes its toll, and... Um, I don't think there's anything we can do um, to prepare for that, but the good thing is that we're on a big, long road trip to start off opening weekend. I think we leave on the Thursday, come back on the Sunday night mm -hmm. down to Columbus State. Um, so that, that'll set the tone. I think we're at home against Lee's McRae that Wednesday when we come back and then away to Lee on the Saturday. Mm -hmm. So Lee's just not too far yeah. down the road. So it's a road trip, but um, yeah, we just need to get these games under our belt. And I think if we, if we were to get a bit of momentum going, Home, away, neutral, it doesn't matter, you know. Uh, you, you look at the South Atlantic Conference, uh, there's a reason why you were the one seed last year, and that was because of the overall strength uh, of the sack in part. Yeah. Wingate's good, Lenore Ryan's good, Queens is very good, Tusculum's very good. Uh, this is a conference that has some yeah. high-level sides uh, within it. What sticks out to you about preparing for league play? And those teams you mentioned are going to be so, so tough, you know. Queens, LR, um, Wingate, Tusculum, all, all tough teams. Um, you know, again, reiterating the point to our players, we have, a, a, we have a target on our back. We may be disliked in the conference because what the team has done for the last three years, but it is what it is. Getting yourself to the top is tough, but staying there is even better because everyone wants a, you know, wants a title shot. Everyone wants to, to, to knock you off that perch and... We've got to make sure that we go, you know what, we deserve to be where we are, but that's down to the attitude, the effort of what we do every day in training. And that's that professional mentality that we bring as a staff to the players and treat them as such. Uh, and then we, we re expect the same um, in return from our players. Duff, thanks for the time. Good luck this Appreciate year. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's Carson Newman Head, women's soccer coach Simon Duffy. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is the Eagle Sports Network. Double talons up. <laughs>